2015 was a booming year for development in downtown New Orleans, and with even more projects slated for 2016, there's no slowdown on the horizon. Joining us now to discuss some of the big projects coming up is Wesley Palmazano, the president of Palmazano Contractors. We've heard that New Orleans is like the sixth hottest housing market in the country, but there's so many commercial projects. What do you guys have coming up on the horizon? Well, downtown construction is thriving right now, and I think that's due to the, so a lot of baby boomers are moving in mm -hmm. from the suburbs to downtown, and there's a real push of the population to downtown New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, on top of that, uh, tourism is also thriving, so we're seeing a lot of hotel projects mm -hmm. coming up. So you have 12 projects underway. You have everything from hotels to apartments to restaurants. We have some images of some of your projects. Explain some of those projects for us. So some of the, the really big projects that we're doing downtown right now include things like Ace Hotel, which the ACE is on Carondelet Street. They're opening in March of this year. That project is significant for New Orleans because they have other locations in cities like Los Angeles, New York, London, and they've chosen New Orleans as their next place to open up. Mm -hmm. um, some other projects include Rampart Homewood, which the Rampart Homewood is significant in that it connects the Iberville housing redevelopment over to the French Quarter. And it's an area of town that hasn't seen a lot of development, but of course with the streetcar coming in down Rampart Street really is a, a big thing in the city right now. And we can see that construction actually when we travel here to the station. And it's great to see that because some of those buildings were vacant for a long time and now you've got progress, you've got pe people coming in, construction, more people that are going to come in and spend more money here. Exactly. Yeah, and, and another example which is on the opposite end of the spectrum, those are both hotels, is the Advocate solidifying their position here in New Orleans with an office on St. Charles Avenue. And, and our partner here, the New Orleans, and the New Orleans Advocate is a partner here for WWL TV. Um, you know, you have done a lot of, of new construction, but you've also done, done a couple historic projects. I love when you mix like old with new. Uh, explain a couple of the historic projects that you've done. One right now that's that's a significant investment in the city as well is the old Hurwitz Mintz Warehouse mm -hmm. on Charter Street that's being converted into luxury apartments and ground floor restaurant. And with this development here, do you think we're going to see some development in different parts, similar types of developments in different parts of the city? For example, maybe the east or um, other areas in mid-city around UMC? We are, yeah. The, the exciting thing that's going on is that it's not just downtown. It's starting to grow outside of the boundaries of, of what traditionally has been the hot area. With the things we talked about on Rampart Street, it's expanding now over to the Bywater, and towards uptown into a vacant area around the convention center there's a, a significant proposed development in that area which we're also investing in that area of town adjacent to the convention center and the market street power plant development where we part purchased and are intending to develop a mixed-use development that'll house our own office with about 30 seconds to go i know you've done dozens of different projects around the city what's one of the projects you're most proud of and why as for right now our, our most our proudest accomplishment in terms of projects in progress and, and things we've done here recently is the Ace Hotel because I mean it is a significant project. It's a 235 room full service hotel with meeting facilities, reception areas, uh, fully occupied rooftop which is unique in New Orleans, bar and grill, pool up on the rooftop so it's be an opportunity for the public to actually visit the project and, and uh, hang out up on the rooftop. And have a great view of the Crescent City. Wesley Palmazano, thanks for coming in this morning. And Thank best you. of luck with all your projects in the new year.